you queer cats are tone setters The same reason my main legion are wrong wetters With long cheddar, mixed with lines written No time slipping, when we rhyme spitting Divine mission, since the house days G.A. Grandma left DJ Tanner outrage The South stays, about that Loretta clapping Lines balanced with Head on over to Spotify and all other streaming platforms to check out the No Mercy TV podcast. Yo, what's good, y'all? No Mercy, Trap New York shit, nomercytv.com. Woo! Spicy talk from organic. Finally! Jesus, you feel me? Um, Let me start this off by saying... You know, I don't have a, a horse in a race when it comes to leagues, right? I don't, um, I got love for all leagues, you feel me? There, there's people I rock with from all leagues, you know, King of the Dot, RBE, URL, etc. You know, I got relationships, you know, in the midst of all this. But, um, Organic finally threw some energy out there, you know? And I've been feeling it for a long time, like... Because I'm in tune with, you know, the stuff that uh, Organic says. You understand? Whenever he's going live on Facebook, I tune in. Um, when he's doing, like, interviews or blogs or whatever the case is, like, I really rock with Organic. And I feel like as a person, he's just a cool individual. Like, when it comes to battle rap, he loves battle rap. He wants to help put people in position, you know, similar to what we do with the trap. No politics attached. You just want to put on battles for the culture. That's just it. You understand? Nothing more, nothing less. And when certain things are getting in the way of that, you know, in terms of politics, in terms of people saying, yo, you can't battle over there, X, Y, Z, it just becomes a thing of like, you feeling like somebody taking food out your mouth. And when people are getting in the way of that, eventually you got to say something. You understand? Now, I felt like for the longest... King of the Dot done took a lot of bumps on the chin. You understand? They done had battles blocked. All kinds of wild shit. And said nothing about it. They just let it go. And me personally, right? Um, Just in, in terms of like just using real life as an example. You know, a person who grew up going to school in the hood. Like, you know, one thing about the hood is that the hood preys on weakness. People from the hood prey on weakness. And if you allow people to do something to you, they're going to continue doing it if it goes unchecked. You understand? And what I always felt like was F perception, right? Because using myself, for example, when I was first growing up, going to elementary school in my hood and all that, right? I had situations where I'll get picked on. You feel me? I'm not ashamed of that. You know, it's something that a lot of people go through growing up. You know what I mean? Me, I was the fat kid that wore glasses, so I used to get all kinds of... I've been going... Y'all might think I'm just now getting called E-40. Like, y'all might see that in my comments sometimes. Y'all know how long E-40 has been a rapper? I've been getting called that since I was in elementary school. You understand? And um, I even had my moments where, you know, I... I, I Because I was a person that I went to school, didn't want no problems. Um, There would be times where... Like, I didn't got hit and ran before. You understand? Like, in terms of... Growing up, you feel me? After enough times of getting hit and running, you don't want to get hit anymore. No matter how many people tell you, yo, you one of the smartest kids in the school, you got a bright future, etc., etc., take the high road, don't pay attention to when people are saying stuff. After a while, fuck all that. All that's out the window. I'm sorry. Why? Because it's not about what people think about you. It's about the decision that's going to help you sleep at night. So while you have a system that's built around certain people winning and certain people being able to get away with bullshit, you have the people that are victims on the other side of that bullshit and have to just eat whatever comes along because perception is going to say, well, be the bigger person. Take the high road. And... Meanwhile, the person who's being the, the victim of certain things, 
they're going to have trouble sleeping at night because especially if you, it's only two genders here, it's men and women. And as a man, when you constantly getting played with, it's going to bother you. Like you're not going to be able to sleep at night because you're like, okay, I see people saying take the high road, but in your mind and in your heart, you're like, yo, somebody keep on playing with me and I can't do nothing about it because if I do something about it, then people around are going to think less of me. People are going to think this, that, and the third. And it just becomes a constant cycle where mentally it just kind of puts you in a dark place. And you know, with me growing up, that was one of the things I actually had to battle with. And I decided one day I wasn't going to get picked on no more. I wasn't going to uh, care about what people thought about me. And I decided to fight back. And it just so happens that the time that I decided to fight back and break somebody's jaw, I got kicked out of school for it. You understand me? So me, I was completely happy with that. Was my mom's mad at me? Of course. Were, you know, other people, family and stuff like that mad at me? Of course. But at the end of the day, I'm not about to be a person that people want to feel like they, they can just pick on for however, you know, long it goes. And you eventually just continue. Like once that first time of, of knocking somebody the fuck out, once that feels good, you just continue on like, oh, yeah, this the energy from that one. Ain't nobody going to play with me. You feel me? So... I'm using that to say, like, when I finally seen Organic's blog today, and we gonna keep it a buck. We not gonna... He straight told URL to eat a frick. Straight up. He straight up said, if you are a person that's telling people that they can't rock out here, blah, 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 sucker, you know what? <clears throat> Me, when I heard that, I'm actually sitting next to the wife uh, playing this blog and we look at each other like whoa you understand because we've been waiting for this it took long enough <laughs> you understand and I felt like organic he does he he earned the right to do that let's be real he earned the right to do that because again he's been dealing with a lot of BS in terms of you know um I see a lot of his Facebook posts when he's talking about you know um, having to work a job, a stressful job, while still dealing with the ins and outs of battle rap and, you know, putting business together, putting matchups together. You got people uh, backing out after they've been paid and flights have been booked and all this other shit. So just imagine that having to work a job that might be stressful while still running a business on the side that might be stressful as well. That shit doesn't make for good, like, mental energy for a lot of people. You feel me? So, um, organic, I felt like being the type of non-confrontational person that he is, when these things are happening, he's just letting it slide. He's just sweeping it under the rug. And as the face of King of the Dot in terms of, you know, staff and the brand and stuff like that, eventually you got to say something. And I been saying myself like I, I be looking at certain lives and certain interviews where it's like he kind of talking his shit but he not saying what he want to say like I can look at him and I can see like organic want to say other shit and I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this to my mind like I might not say nothing or nothing but I can see it I can see it on his face I'm like organic want to say some other shit but he's not going to he's not going to because he don't want people to judge him or look at him in a certain light but at the end of the day F all that. You got to make the decision that's best for you to sleep at night. What's going to protect your mental energy? As my bro Jim say, protect your peace. And if protecting your peace actually means jumping out the window and speaking on some shit that you might possibly get backlash for, sometimes you're just going to say F it and I'll sleep in this fire that I created. But I'm going to get my round off. You understand? I'm going to get my shit off and, and say what I want to say. In terms of, you know, what everybody can clearly see is going on. It's not just other, yeah, it's not just them that see this. You understand? It's fans that see it, battlers that see it, media that sees it. Everybody sees what's going on. So at some point, you can't address it. And I was just glad to see that Organic finally did. You understand? So um, uh, it was a live, I think he did. I don't know if he did it in the, in the King of the Dot Facebook group or on his regular page. But I seen it on Angry Fan. Angry Fan uploaded the blog 
And um, when I heard that, I was like, yeah, Organic finally pulled up for the smoke. You understand? And, you know, rightfully so. They, they've been doing this shit a long time. Um, just putting on for the culture, doing great battles, trying to avoid the political game and, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, it's it's unfortunate that, you know, in, in this battle rap shit, it's certain things that, that happen within business that are cutthroat because it's like the battle is supposed to be competitive. Those are supposed to be who are competing, not the leagues. You understand? But it's something that happens. And, you know, you can only... I know um, even ARP has stressed this before, right? I remember him saying that when it comes to battles getting blocked, they hold it to the battle rapper, right? They hold, the battle rapper should uh, take accountability because at the end of the day, should no man be able to tell you what to eat, right? But at the same time, when there's no repercussions for it, where there's no no legal repercussions, where... Um, no, you know, people breach contracts all the time, right? Y'all would look at the leagues as the bad guys if they if they started legally bringing in lawyers, started suing and stuff like that. But most of us just don't care to go through all that. You understand? It's just a, a strenuous process. We got other shit in life to be dealing with. Who wants to be dealing with having to go get a lawyer, put them on retainer, to pursue this person and find their information and serve them. Then you got to go to court. Then you got to get all this information, these screenshots, these contracts, and all this other shit. Nobody wants to do all that. Nobody wants to go through all that. So in knowing that, I'm not going to front. I feel like certain leagues will take advantage of that. And they can tell a battler, yo, don't go do that battle. And come rock with us. Because they know there's not going to be any repercussion behind it. So I feel like even with Organic, you know, doing this blog and saying some of the stuff that he said, that's at least a start to just saying like, yo, we understand what's going on here, but you're not going to keep playing with us like that. You understand? And I feel like you have to, I have to do that eventually. Like like I said, like with when, when I use, you know, personal... Um, situations to you know talk about what's going on and shit like that you gotta remember when you're a little kid you know and you just arriving somewhere people don't know who you are and if there's people that's there that's of a certain caliber if they don't know who you are you ain't get a chance to prove yourself you ain't been in no fights or nothing yet niggas don't know you niggas are gonna try to take advantage but guess what the first time you put somebody down then it's like oh okay let's leave him alone we're going to do what we do here, but when it comes to him, we're going to go around him. You understand what I'm saying? And I think that's, you know, the start of what Organic is is trying to do. It's a small start, but it's a start nonetheless. You feel me? And I do think Organic just need to, you know, talk his shit more. You understand? Like, I, I think Organic... And let me, let me also say this, right? I do think overall, conversations need to be had. I think there needs to be discussions between url and rbe and there needs to be discussions between url and king of the dot i think it needs to be made clear what people's objectives are what everyone's trying to do that way when stuff is coming up no lines are getting crossed no bullshit is happening between leagues and this can all you know just go somewhere else like just go away you understand because again i don't think that <clears throat> the leagues should be beefing. You feel me? But this goes back to even when um the trap had to deal with um had to deal with the whole North situation. You know, when um me and Prez was, you know, working on what we was working on, and then he spoke to Norbs and he had to, you know, back out of our stuff that was going on. And it's like, how many, how much is this gonna happen before somebody say something and just keep it a buck, like, yo. What are y'all doing? You understand? So that 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 was part of the reason, you know, I, I can relate to it in a certain way because it's just like, nah, nah, everybody's not going to be with that. And it, it was bothering me at one time because there was a point where I'm like, I'm about to just let this slide. I'm about to just not say nothing. And um, shout my bro Peso, man. Pe Peso 
you know, used to always um, <clears throat> want to just keep things stable. You understand in terms of the platform for us to not get blackballed, et cetera, et cetera. But me, I'm not one of them people that can just sit back and keep my mouth shut. And it's for those reasons that I told y'all growing up. Ain't nobody going to tell me what to do. Ain't nobody going to tell me I can't speak on nothing. I, and I'm talking about shit that's public. Shit that's clearly going on. Like, ain't nobody going to tell me that I can't say something that other people can clearly see. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, I, I think it's, it's, it's definitely good to just be able to speak up for yourself and come to your own defense. You understand? If you got a brand up hold and y'all out here putting on and y'all are respected and y'all done earned y'all 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 place hold that place don't let nobody come and try to take food out your mouth or none of that and if it's going on don't feel like you have to keep yourself contained and just not say nothing like no speak up speak up for yourself you understand i'm always going to be an advocate for that you know what i mean like i never liked watching people get bullied in a sense you understand i never liked watching uh people just take their lumps on the chin and just not fight back. Like some people are entertained by that. Some people are like, oh, look at the little guy getting picked on. But for a nigga like me, it's like, yo, I know, I know something's in there. You, that 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 monster that's growing in there from all this bullshit need to come out. You understand what I'm saying? And eventually, this is what you get. So you know, this, like I said, this response from organic, it, it was definitely, it was definitely warranted. You understand? So when I seen that, I was just like, oh, okay, finally. You feel me? So, you know, and then I don't want it to be looked at like, oh, no, funny style shit. Like, I'm saying, like, they're just out getting bullied. But, nah, they they have been real respectful and real non-confrontational and lenient in terms of, you know, stuff that was going on. So, I, I think Organic pretty much earned his right to speak. And I think going forward, he should release some more of this energy just for his own mental, just for him to not be keeping stuff bottled up like that you understand because keeping stuff bottled up i feel like that's what contributes to a lot of people's you know dark mental spaces and shit like that because you're you're keeping feelings bottled up you're constantly reliving things you're constantly playing stuff back in your mind and you don't have a way to just release you understand and that to me is you know something that's very important in terms of, you know especially when time we're talking about mental health and all that release let it go like just speak your mind and Keep it moving. Forget what anybody thinks. Forget what backlash is going to come from it. It is what it is. You can't control what people think. But what you can control is you releasing, you know, the the, the personal um, stuff that you are keeping bottled up. And at the end of the day, it's going to make you sleep better at night. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, that's just my thoughts on that. So let me know what y'all think in the comments. And I'll holler at y'all, man. No Mercy Trap New York shit. No Mercy TV.com. I'm out.